Vibhagya Shwasana, sectional breathing, is a preparatory breathing practice for pranayama. It can correct your breathing pattern and also help to increase your lung capacity by encouraging fuller breathing into different areas of your lungs. It is a very important practice to inculcate into your everyday yoga practice as deep breathing into different parts of the lungs brings in abundant supply of fresh oxygen into these areas and helps to improve the health of the lungs as well as making more oxygenated blood available for each and every cell of the body. Such breathing with full awareness helps to combat stress, mental and physical fatigue instantly. Even 10 minutes of sectional breathing practice daily can bring more power and vitality, calmness in your daily activities and clarity in thinking. So let's explore this practice and reap its benefits. Vibhagya Shwasana can be practiced absolutely anywhere. You can practice it on your bed, on your yoga mat or even on a chair. All you want to make sure is that your spine remains upright, which means at no point you're slouching or curling into your upper back. So if you notice that you suffer from back discomfort or back pain, you could always use a pillow or a bolster behind to support to keep your spine upright throughout the practice. The Bhagya Shwasana is divided into four parts. The first one being the abdominal breathing, second thoracic, third clavicular and then in fourth we link all of them together into making a complete breathing practice. So we start by coming into any seated comfortable position, keeping your spine upright, shoulders roll back, chest forward. Slowly begin to close your eyes. And gently starting to draw your awareness towards your breaths as you inhale and exhale. Noticing the flow of your breaths in and out of the body. And the quality of your breaths. If your breaths are long or short, if they're soft or forceful, if they're deep or shallow, and simply being aware of the quality of your breaths. And slowly using your focus, your awareness towards your breathing, Deciding to let go of anything that was happening in your life until now. Beginning to calm down any lingering thoughts. Or slowing down your mental activities. So that your focus, your awareness, is drawn to this present moment. So we will now be starting with abdominal breathing. For that, gently place your palms onto your midsection. On each inhalation, you will notice your abdomen swell up or bloat. And on each exhale, you'll notice your abdomen sink in towards the spine. So we'll practice four rounds. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. We will now be focusing on chest or thoracic breathing. For that, you'll place your palms just at your rib cage where you can feel that inverted V. 
keeping your palms approximately at that point so that your fingers touch. On each inhale, you will notice your chest expand laterally and as you exhale, it will contract in. Similarly, your fingers will start to go apart and gently they'll be drawn in. So let's begin. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. We will now be going into clavicular breathing, that is your shoulders and your collarbones. So you can take your fingers onto your shoulders and on each inhale you will notice them rise up and on each exhale you will feel them gently drop down. So slowly close your eyes and let's begin. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now that you've understood how to do abdominal, thoracic and clavicular breathing, now we start connecting all of that together in one round. So on each inhalation, you will notice your abdomen bloat, your chest expand laterally and your shoulders or your collarbones lift up. And on each exhale, you will notice all of your collarbones and your shoulders drop, your chest contract and abdomen deflate. So let's begin with a practice. Keeping your spine upright, gently close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Noticing your abdomen bloat, your chest expand, your shoulders and collarbones lift. Exhale, noticing your shoulders drop, your chest contract and your abdomen deflate. Let's do three more rounds. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. and slowly open your eyes. You can practice Vibhagya Shrasana up to almost 10, 20, 25 rounds, 30 rounds. As you notice your lung capacity building, you can keep increasing your cycles. If you notice any congestion whenever you're practicing sectional breathing, I would highly recommend first starting with Shrasana Margashiki Kriya, which is a nasal cleansing technique. If you don't know how to do it, I will link the practice in the description box below. If you have liked this video, kindly give me a thumbs up, write your comments in the section below and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.